Hello, in this video I would like to share with you how not to be boring, so stay tuned, subscribe, because it will be a very interesting one. First of all, I know it's ridiculous that I would like to make a video about this topic, but trust me, I am not boring at all. It's essential that we don't want to be boring, and I don't say anything new with that. If you think about it for a second, a lot of things become easier if you are not boring. First, you can find your future job position because the recruiter find you more interesting. Secondly, you can find your significant other easier as you can draw the attention to yourself. Lastly, you can build your social network efficiently. Not being boring is not as hard as it seems to be at first glance. If you know how to start and what kind of tips and tricks you must focus on, then you can change your current behavior easily. So are you ready for these tips? Let's see my 5 tips how not to be boring. Tip number 1. Put down your phone. I think we all have at least one friend in our social group who is not participating in the conversation because they are checking their phones all the time. Maybe in the beginning their friends mentioned to them that they should put down their phones but sooner or later they give up on them because they are not able to break this kind of habit. And what are the results afterwards? They will become the boring and silent person in the group. Does it sound familiar to you, what I have already mentioned? What would you say if I tell you that you are that person in your group at the moment and that's the number one reason why you feel yourself boring? If you already realized that you suffer from this symptom, then congratulations, you already figured out what you need to change. In this case, the first step will be very simple. Put down your phone when you are having a conversation. Trust me, people will find you more interesting when you are not watching your phone screen, but you look in their eyes. Tip number two, stop complaining. I am so upset that I am not interesting at all and I am the boring one always. What am I doing wrong? What's wrong with me? Why I can't be funny and clever? That's happening with me all the time. I am very tired and sick of it. So did you enjoy my monologue? I am sure you don't, because people don't like to listen complaints all the time. It's okay to let off steam occasionally, but that's not okay to be negative always, especially when you introduce yourself to new people. You can share your current problems with your close friends, discuss it and find the right solutions, and after that move on. You don't need to waste your time and energy that you are always talking about the same issues over and over again. Trust me, that's very boring and no one is interested. Tip number three, become a speaker and a listener. Sadly, nowadays everyone is running and it's getting harder and harder to find the right people who can be a speaker and a listener at the same time. Let's see what do I mean by that. A communication has two different roles, a speaker or a sender and the receiver or the listener. In a normal communication form, the roles will be switched back and forth, so I will be a listener and a speaker during the conversation. However, this won't happen all the time, because you stuck to one role, so you only listen or you only speak. If you are always a listener, then sooner or later you will become the silent and boring person in the conversation, because you don't say anything at all, you just listen and don't reflect to the topic. People might think that you are a good listener, but when you just listen to something that doesn't mean that you focus on that thing too. Sadly, it happens many times that people like to use these kind of good listeners because they can listen to complaints. On the other hand, if you are always a speaker, then you just talk and talk and don't listen to your partner. This role might seem as a narcissist because in this case you are always talking but not listening. From my perspective, I don't like to talk with people who never listen, just talk about their fame, success or problems. However, I also don't like people who just listen but don't reflect to my words. It seems like that they are absolutely not interested what I say. The main takeaway from this tip that you must find the right balance between a speaker and the listener role. If you speak, make sure that you don't speak about yourself all the time Try to find the relevant topic to your partner. On the other hand, when you listen, listen very carefully and ask questions back and show some sign of interest. 
Tip number four, try to be funny. Laugh and having fun can make any conversations more delightful. Meanwhile, you will become more interesting in your partner's eyes. Humor can help you out in the most uncomfortable and difficult situations. Meanwhile, it can result unforgettable moments in your group. I guarantee that if you react with humor in these kind of situations, you will laugh on these memories even years later. If you are naturally funny, then take my advice and don't be afraid of letting your humor shine. Anyway, if you would like to improve your sense of humor, there are many tips and tricks which you can use. For example, you can say something wrong directly or you can misunderstand, misunderstand situations and also you can share your awkward stories. I just mentioned a couple of examples, but I don't want to get into details because I have already made a video about how you can be funny, so you can click on the screen somewhere and check the whole video. Tip number five, be vulnerable. My last tip for you is very easy. Do not afraid of sharing your vulnerable moments. There are many studies which already confirmed that sharing your fairer moments on the path of success can be very interesting for other people. It's important to highlight that being vulnerable doesn't equal to complaining. The main difference between the two things is that in case of being vulnerable, you share your failure as part of your success and you say that these kind of failures make the person who, I, who are you today. At this case, there is always a happy ending and you don't consider these kind of failures as problems or something which was wrong. When you are complaining, there is no happy ending. You just cry all the time and you just don't understand why these kind of things happen to you. Furthermore, if you show your vulnerable side to your partner, they might notice similarities between you and them. These kind of similarities can help you to instantly like you. To wrap up this, don't hide your mistakes and failures what you made in the past and make sure that there is always a happy ending after end of your speech. In the end, I hope you didn't find this video boring. If you did, then you just made me sad, but you can cheer me up if you hit the subscribe. So don't forget to watch my other videos and see you next time.